Hello and welcome to week four of the fantasy football season. I uh, hope you're all enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, you might know that uh, Tevin Coleman stole every single touchdown that uh, Devontae Freeman was meant to have, putting me up to 157 points. Uh, how cool is it to have an Atlanta Falcons running back, Andy? Uh, he's pretty nice. And no, you can't have uh, a single one of those touchdowns back. Um, let's see, uh, week four, I uh, got a couple more injuries, making for interesting waiver wire pickups, and I am glad to see everyone's putting such good effort to become the number two of the league, although there is still an empty bench spot or two, uh, a couple of tight ends, some people are rostering three tight ends, so I'd like to see a little more effort uh, to make it look like a competition, but oh well. Sax to be Cutler also went off for about 168 points, because apparently that's possible, <laughs> Uh, good for them, and we'll, I guess we'll see how that progresses. Uh, this week I'm facing off at Ertz on Eifert, so that should be fun. Two Atlanta running backs going off against each other. And we'll see who gets the touchdowns this week, I guess. Um, it is a wave wire tonight, so everyone set them. Uh, interesting targets might be uh, Tyrell Pryor, who is apparently a running back, a wide receiver, and a quarterback. So he might be interesting to pick up. Uh, Jordan Howard, because Jeremy Langford on my bench. Uh, has a high ankle sprain. Not exactly which part, sure which part of the ankle that is, but I'm assuming going closer to the knee. Um, who else? Dwayne Washington is still splitting carries with Theo Riddick, so I uh, don't really know how that one's going to work out just yet, but he's still interesting. Matt Jones is still on the waiver wire, and I get everyone's desire to keep him on the waiver wire, but if you weren't, if you weren't aware, his usage, uh, number of snaps he's actually participating in has gone up every week, and he is technically the starting running back um, of uh, Washington. Uh, so I want to look into him if you need a running back. Uh, there's a whole bunch of wide receivers out there, although uh, a lot of them didn't get targeted this week, like Tyler Lockett. Uh, so, uh, but they might still have use later down the road. And a few more tight ends have uh, emerged as touchdown scorers, on the waiver wire and not touchdown scores in the lineup. Another good reason not to roster uh, uh, that many of them, in my, in my opinion. But what do I know? I'm just two of one. Uh, awesome. Um, let me see. Uh, I have no idea who anyone's facing off against this week, apart from myself. As you can see, I've been banned to the outside because I've been screaming uh, Common's name uh, since uh, last night and I'm not allowed back in the house until I calm down about it, so I might be out here a while, to be honest. Um, good luck on your wave wires, make sure you set them tonight. They run, as always, by uh, tomorrow morning, mid-morning. Should really check that out, so I'm not always guessing. Um, <coughs> week three was good, and I reasserted myself as the dominant team of the league, apart from uh, Saxby Cutler, who apparently can go off for more points than any other team uh, in the history of the league. So that's nice. I also uh, instituted a new trophy because it turns out that our, our lowest score of the week trophy is actually for the season. So I made one uh, so that we know each week who is uh, fighting to be the worst team in the league. Um, it doesn't stay in your trophy case. It goes from team to team each week. So it won't stick around. It will just be a nice stigma for that week. Uh, I believe the winner this week were, had 70 points, and uh, it's not name names, uh, but we all, we all know who yeah, we all know who that is. Anyway. <laughs> all right, um, good luck this week. Uh, make sure you set your lineup, set your waiver claims tonight, and I will talk to you again next week.